hard game, bottom of the ninth. At bat, Ricky Hill. Oh my gosh! What did you do? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing The Hill, a film that came out on August 25th of this year, exactly a month from today. Well, it's a great film that's very inspiring for many people, and I just really overall loved it. It was amazing, and today I just wanted to dive into what I thought of the film. There's not too much wrong with it as it is PG rated, so it's pretty much safe for the entire family to go ahead and watch. Um, but I just wanted to go into my thoughts of the film overall as a whole. Even when you're suffering pain, but you can't play baseball, you're going to get ridiculed. And you're going to wind up with an injury that you'll never get over. So, as you watch the film, you get to know two main characters that um, are in this film. And that is Ricky Hill, which is the... He is a child in the beginning of the film, but he has braces on his legs. And Ricky, and despite having braces on his legs, he's able to hit a rock with a stick very far. And he's very accurate with how he does it. He loves it. He wants to be a baseball player. That's all he ever wants to be. But, of course, having braces on his legs prohibits him from doing that. So that, that's the first character that we have. And then the second character that we have is his father, Pastor Hill. Now, as I said, he is a pastor of a local church. And at the beginning of the film, he's preaching at his, at his church. And he's just trying to uh, shepherd his flock. He really wants them to be following God to the best of their ability. And in his church, there are people that are smoking, they're chewing tobacco, and they're just not treating God's sanctuary as they should. So he finally speaks up because he's had enough of it. And the family then has to move as the congregation votes out Pastor Hill. So that really just sets up the premise for the film. Um, I will say that this is based on a true story. And a lot of what happens in this story is actually really true. So that is really great to be able to see, because usually sometimes with them being based on the true stories, they add a little bit for drama, or they do stuff like that. But no, this film is mostly true, as you'll see if you look anything up about it. But the arcs that we have to deal with that are in this film, there's two. And there's one for Pastor Hill, and there's one for Ricky Hill. We're going to start with Ricky's. So, at the beginning of the film, as I said, Ricky's got braces. He can't actually do baseball, and everyone around him is telling him he can't do it because of that. However... As he grows older, he's actually able to not have to have the braces anymore, so he begins to want to try out. However, his father believes that baseball is a sin, is putting something else in front of God, and therefore he does not want his son to participate in baseball. So he, he tells him no, and Ricky's got to go along the fact that he thinks that this is his gift. He wants to be able to use his gift while at the same time pleasing God. God's going to give you a higher calling. But all I want to do is play. When I swing that bat, I ain't crippled no more. So Ricky goes ahead and he tries to learn more scripture. He tries to figure out what God wants him to do with his gift. And eventually he does actually get to go and do baseball. Um, and he's really good at it. He's ha He has some bumps along the way because he has issues where he tears tendons. He has this spinal disease. Uh, that he learns about as he grows older, and he he really does have a lot of trials, and it, it, they are they're pretty tough. I mean, from going from to braces to uh, completely breaking your his ankle and have to go undergoing surgery, uh, he he has a lot of trials that pro, stand in his way of doing baseball. So he questions himself: Am I really supposed to be doing this, or am I supposed to do something else? But finally, by the end of the film, he finds what he really likes to do, and he uses it. Um, to please God, and he just, he totally relies on God for his strength. It's really, it's really great to see, and that's really his arc, because he's got to find a way to balance baseball and pleasing God, at the same time, um, trying to figure out what, how he should approach his father, which is the other arc to this story. Now, Pastor Hill, as I said before, believes that baseball is a sin, and that it is putting something else in front of God. He doesn't like baseball cards. He thinks that those are idolizing other people. He's really um, religious in the way that he goes about himself, and he takes pride in that. I mean, he's a pastor, and he wants his children to be pastors like him. He has a vision for Ricky, and he wants him to be a pastor like himself, so he's always trying to teach him that way. And 
as Pastor Hill goes on and on, he realizes that that is more of a selfish, what he wants for his son, rather than what God wants for his son. And up to the end, like, the, the father's not even seen Ricky play one game of baseball. And he takes pride in that. But as he goes on, he realizes that that was wrong and that he should be supporting his son. So by the end, they have a really father-son bond where they are um, work, they're, they're able to accept one another and they're able to live happily and be able to accept that everyone has a different gift. Trials are going to come and they're going to go and it's going to be painful, some of them, and you're going to want to quit, but always stay true to what you need to do. It reminds me of Philippians. I press toward the mark to the prize of the high calling of Christ Jesus. So it's just a really great film. I think it's an amazing film for the whole family. There's only like a few things in it. There's a couple of words that are minor. And then you got one scene where you see a, a husband that's a little, he's abusive and drunk, but you don't really see anything on screen. But that's really all that you see in this film. So I really recommend for all ages for this film, uh, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think about it. You won't regret it. It's a really great film. Thank you for listening today, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. It's your time, Ricky! Determination and sacrifices have come down to this.